Hey guys, Common Sense Outdoorsman here. I want to show you a knife I've had for a while, and it's the Buck Light Max knife. And this knife has been around for a while. This is the um, Crockett and uh, Boon Club edition, so it has that orange type handle on it, but typically uh, they have a black handle. And this is the older handle. They have a new updated handle, and this knife comes in small and large size. This is the large size. It's a four inch, 420 high carbon blade. And I think the small size is about a three and a half inch blade. So yeah, this is Buck's Bose heat treated 420 high carbon, which is very good. It is a hollow grind, but it does have decent thickness to it. And it's very, very sharp. And now this knife is designed as a hunting knife and it is a great hunting knife and that's basically its best use. But could you use this for a little bit of light bushcraft, another camp craft and woodcraft um, stuff? Yeah, sure you can. And it's a great knife at it. And that handle is a rubberized type handle. It's fairly tough, very grippy. And it does wash very nicely. I can wash that orange handle and it comes out nice and clean. It does have a lanyard hole. It does have some thumb jimping there. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the new ones have just the black handle and the handle's been redesigned. It's a little blockier than this, but similar. And it's still a rubberized type handle. But um, one of the great things about this nice knife, if you're just learning to sharpen your knife, see how it has this finger choil there and see how the edge goes right up to that choil area. So you can sharpen this on a stone very easily without anything getting, getting in the way. So this is a good knife to get if you wanna practice your knife sharpening. And I've got a great knife sharpening series if you're interested. Yeah, it's a little long-winded, but if you are a beginner at knife sharpening and are having trouble, I think it'll be a good video for you. But, you know, <clears throat> this knife isn't for beating the crap out of and batoning and stuff like that, but it does make a good woods knife. Let's see how it shaves wood. Very sharp knife, very comfortable in hand, very easy to use. This isn't the best piece of wood to make feathers with or shave, but I just want to show you how nicely this knife cuts. And this isn't going to be a long video. This really, you know, I think everyone understands how well Buck's Bose heat treat is and how nice their 420 high carbon steel is. It's a tough steel, holds an edge better than other 420 high carbons. Now it's not a super steel, nothing like that, but it is a great steel to use. And as you can see, it does cut very nice and very easily. So feathers, look at those curls. Feathers are no problem for this knife, even on a gnarly piece of wood like this. Piece of cake. Nice curly cues there. Just a good woodworking type of knife after its primary use as a hunting knife. But these knives are still available. You can, I believe they're on Amazon, Knife Center, just Google it. Buck Light, Light is spelled L-I-T-E, Max. And uh, you'll see them, Black Handle, the new blockier Black Handle. I don't have one of those. Um, and there are, I think the large is somewhere around $30 and the smaller one somewhere around 25. You can't beat this knife for that. Here is the sheath it comes with. 
me take you up a little bit. I have it on my belt. And this is the older style sheath, and it's just a nylon sheath. Uh, the newer nylon sheath that they have is, um, you know, kind of that taco type of sheath that wraps over. This one just has its, if you can see that, its separate uh, belt loop. But it's just a inexpensive nylon sheath. But the best part of it is the knife, not the sheath. Okay. So, yeah. Great knife. Comfortable in hand handle is very grippy you're not gonna drop the knife this Boone and Crockett one I don't think is available anymore I don't know if you can find it but really a good woodworking carving type knife which is it's second best use after hunting. So there it is, the Buck Light Max knife. Can you guys see the fire there? <sighs> Great little knife. Google it, it's available. Thanks for watching, guys. Common Sense Outdoorsman. We'll talk to you next time.